What is happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Lunar Dark Nuzlocke. We ended up in the Safari Zone last episode, and that's pretty cool. We could just go ahead and uh, see what we can catch, but also we should probably talk to these lads in the hats. Hello? Have you ever gone on a Safari tour? I will show some special Pokemon. All right, so apparently we do have some more battles going on in here. Keanu has three Pokemon. He leads with a Rolly. Oh my god. It is an elephant mouse. That is amazing. Um... We're going to give you a bulldoze. How about that, buddy? Dude, the freaking roly-poly-oly over here. I love it. Look at them ears. Drop your speed, and it hits us with a takedown, but also actually misses instead. And that's perfect. So, give you another bulldoze. That'll do it. So, Donna, kind of the MVP lately. I just really like this Pokemon. Next is a Yayak. Yayak? What the fuck? What is that thing? Okay, this, this guy's got all sorts of cool Safari Zone stuff. Um... It's actually interesting, so it's a freaking yak with some blue ass horns going on. I, I like it. Don't know what type this thing is. Aqua Slam. Okay, that's not what we wanted to see. Freaking water yak. Interesting. Well, one more bulldoze will do the trick. And, um. So, yeah, it is cool that the Safari Zone has, like, actual animal kind of stuff. Next is a Leonite. Um, we have seen one of those things. Is that. Um, let's go into happy for that. Leonite, that's the, um, I think this thing's rock type. I don't know. I could have just stayed in and gone for a bulldoze, but I don't want Donna to take more damage. So, yeah, this thing is pretty badass. We like this thing. Pointy boy. Take a skull, that is going to kill you. We're almost level 50 with happy, which is absolutely insane. It's nice that we don't have to grind up anymore, though. Team's looking great as Ronja grows to level 40 also. Not that special. Okay. So, Donna took some damage there. We're going to go ahead and lead off with this thing. i uh, just get you some experience. Although, I think there's going to be quite a few ground types. That could be bad. Hey, I'm a Safari Ranger. How about a battle? So, I honestly didn't expect these people to battle. But it's kind of a cool thing to be able to see what all these people got. You got a Girafire. Giraffe fire? That's actually pretty badass. I like this thing. Doesn't really look like a Pokemon, though. You're, look you're looking weird as shit. We're going to go for a Hex and just see how much this does. All right, almost knocks it right out. Now it's gonna agility, speedy giraffe boy. This thing better evolve. Giraffe, giraffe fire has potential. I just like giraffes, so a little biased. But all right, one more hex go and take care of you. I wonder how many. I was even oh hip pond. That's a fire type hippo for sure, or fire water type hippo. No doot about that. We're gonna go ahead and Marvin ya. So. Like I was saying last episode, there's so many Pokemon in this game. It's insane. We just keep seeing more and more. Oh, it has Mud Bomb. Is it Ground Water? It's probably Ground Water. This is a poor, poor decision. We're going to go ahead and predict the ground move and go right into uh, our buddy Dracula here. How about that? Tries to soak us. That's fine. That's totally fine. We didn't care about our stab anyway. All right, we're just going to go ahead and kill you with an Acrobatics. We probably don't need to be doing more of these battles, to be honest. We're kind of, uh, we're pretty... Pretty decently leveled. Next is a Chiritrick. So, something electric. I'm going to go ahead and assume we'll go into Charlotte for that. Because uh, Charlotte's only level 46. Could use a little bit of love. Cheetrick. You like Cheetos, buddy? Okay, this thing's kind of cool. It's an electric, uh, like, leopard. Cheeto, I mean. Or ch <laughs> Cheeto. Fucking Cheetah. Young Chester over here. We're just going to act scissor you. How about that? I called it a leopard. It's literally a G. It has... Its name is what it is but it's fine we're all good uh, grow to level 47 here looking nice ah no chance okay well, you know what let's actually just continue here let's go catch ourselves one of these damn things uh so for 500 dollars, you can play the game you can roam the wide open safari and catch what you like i'm assuming there's gonna be a bunch of items in there too so this should be pretty cool uh, we can only catch the first thing we come across though gotta stay true to the nuzlocke rules uh, a lot of people do go by if there's like different areas in the safari zone you can catch different things but we're gonna stick with just the regular first try that's all we get so there is an item down this way and uh it turns out to be a full restore very nice definitely use that do we get to battle pokemon here they didn't give me any safari balls today is there anything in this grass nope you can't go in there um i'm very interested to see what my first pokemon is i hope it's the mouse freaking elephant please our first encounter here oh it's the, it's the giraffe fire okay so we do just have safari balls um we only get one try at this do i try to bait it or do i just try to ball it or rock it I'm, I'm balling. Fuck it. Switch into balling real quick on this lad. Alright. Well. 
we do actually catch it first try, so that's pretty damn nice. Level 39, hot damn. Giraffe Fire's long neck allows it to reach the leaves of tall trees in the sanctuary. The healthier the Pokemon is, the more fierce its mane burns. It doesn't have a mane, really, does it? What? Okay, well, we're going to give you a nickname. we got to name you Jeffrey. Jeffrey the freaking giraffe. R.I.P. My, my uh, Toys R Us boy. Young Jeffrey. Love to see it. Okay. So, put that in box one, and that's our encounter for here. But we can also just explore around a little bit more, see if there's other trainers in here. Don't use too many Safari Balls. If you run out of them, you have to leave the Safari Zone. Okay, so... Just some friendly helpers, but we will try to grab as many items as possible, I suppose. Got ourselves a Carbos. That is really nice. Thank you for that. I can't believe how high level that thing was. Could add that thing to the team right now. We already have a fire type with Ranja. Ooh, and we find TM59 for Incinerate. I believe that's an item that if they're holding a berry, it does more damage and burns off the berry, which is kind of cool. All sorts of freaking items. Ooh, and TM11 for Sunny Day. So they seem to like our fire types around here. What else we got? Ooh, what the hell's going on over here? A little instructor, huh? I'm the special safari ranger. I show the tourists around and make sure the tourists say, okay, cool. It's the best one I've ever seen. Much better than the one in Kanto. <laughs> Husband and son, has always wanted to visit the safari zone, so we came all the way from Kanto. Nice. I want to see all the amazing Pokemon my friends told me about. We could probably also find some cool other stuff. We'll kind of search around in the grass a little bit as well. I'm assuming there's going to be... Yeah, there's this item. Got ourselves a zinc. Man, there's all sorts of good items here. What else can we find in the wild? Because I doubt that we've seen everything. Let's kind of... Let's explore around a little bit. Okay, so we got one of them uh, them cheetahs. Oh, fuck. I accidentally threw a ball at it. This thing is level 40. Please don't let me catch you. Damn it! Okay, I accidentally caught this because I was mashing A. I fat-fingered it. I did not mean to catch you. Shit. Oops, sorry buddy. Uh, we're not going to name you. I'm going to need to remember to release that thing because that is not our legal encounter, but how did I know I was going to do that on the very first chance I get? Okay, not mashing A this time, and it's just one of them uh, yayaks, so we're going to run from you, buddy. But it doesn't seem like there's really too much more for us to explore. I guess we can go down here. False alarm. Call ourselves TM93. Wild charge that would be very good for our electric cheetah boy, but it's not actually ours because I'm dumb and actually accidentally catch things all the time. And there it is, freaking Rolly. <laughs> I love Rolly. Does Rolly evolve? I want to protect him with my life. Okay, well, it looks like that's actually all there is here. A uh, pretty large area, though, larger than I expected. Another giraffe fire, so pretty cool place. A lot of cool Pokemon. I like the Safari Zone Pokemon here, they all seem to fit like a relative theme. Uh, I dig it. Rolly, get out of my way, buddy. Guess that is all we can find. But, uh, alrighty then. So, now that we got the Safari Zone out of the way, we can just continue to whatever that uh, lake is. Oh, shit! False alarm! We got a Zebrite. There is, of course, a Zebra Pokemon, which is amazing, and I love it. Surely there's not anything else. We've seen a lot. We've seen a lot here. Oh, just another Yak. Okay. Well, I think that zebra is probably my favorite out of everything, to be honest. We gotta find like two more things, just to make sure we're not missing out on anything crazy. Because I did not finish all the battles inside of there, but I just feel like we don't really need the extra experience. Okay, last try, and just another rolly. Okay, that's fine. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get on out of here. I do really need to remember that the next time I find a PC, I should do something about it. That, uh, that Cheeto. <laughs> Bam, do you catch your fair share? Come again. I sure did. Is there... Hello? There is a PC. This is a weird looking PC. Okay. Um, let's go ahead into here. Let's actually take a look at... Uh, at our new buddy. So this thing has the simple ability. Interesting. Prone to wild stat changes. Yo, that's actually crazy. It has stomp, flame burst, agility, and quick guard. Um, hasty nature. At level 39, that's pretty badass. If anything happens to Ranja, that's pretty cool. And then we have our quick feet buddy here. That's actually also dark type. Just gonna kind of learn about this thing, just in case I come across one. And a battle. Shockwave, knockoff, faint, and hone claws. So that thing's pretty cool. Unfortunately, we have to release you. Sorry about that. But, uh, very cool. Yeah, we'll bring that simple buddy with us maybe at some point later. But let's continue here. 
So looking at the Poke Gear again, just for good measure, we're just gonna head to the right and we're gonna go right here to Lake Bliss. And then we have Sailport Town. And then from Sailport Town, we can head to the new area where uh, the, dra or the, yeah, the dragon dudes are. So that should be fun. We're at a pretty, whoa, Jesus. We have not seen a Bull Sun either. My God, so many new Pokemon. This is insane. That's pretty cool. And Tauros and Bufalon had a weird baby. But all right, back to Route 12. Did get our encounter here. Also, another apple. Still don't know what the hell is up with the apples, but that's fine. Hey, did you ever ride on a Bullson? You can ride. Please tell me you can ride him. Cowgirl Lassie here has a Bullson. Okay. Level 40, and I'm kind of afraid of this thing. Let's let's will o wisp it. Oh, we're gonna swagger me, huh? Okay, I see your swagger, Bullson. Level 40. This thing's kind of spooky, confused, and uh, don't hit yourself, buddy. Damn it! Ranja. What did we talk about, Ranja? Don't ever do that again. Okay, let's switch out here. Let's go into Charlotte. I assume this thing is probably just a normal type, just a, a Tauros remake, essentially. It's now gonna take down. Yep, yeah, that's to be expected. And, ow, that fucking hurts, man. Freaking ouch, bruh. I'll give you an X, is it probably not gonna kill you? Jesus, did like nothing. No crit, no crit, thank God. Okay, didn't crit us, but yo, this thing is, this thing's scary. We've actually, Got to the point where this shit is pretty spooky. We're going to predict the takedown and go into Marvin here. Seems like all this thing wants to do. Oh, now it's going to retaliate. So now you retaliate, huh? Oh, wait. I, I totally did not even mean to go in. I meant to go into fucking Ranja. Why did I think... These two look exactly... These two look so similar. I forget that Ranja is the freaking... The one I meant to go into. But Marvin, I guess, it, it is fine to go into here, too. So we're just going to... I'm an idiot. I was like, I'm gonna bring in my ghost type here and predict the takedown. And you know, okay, let's just pretend. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Of course, we're confused. Marvin, don't do it, buddy. Yeah, we do get the lightning strike off. It's a dead bull song. Okay. So yeah, some definitely scarier Pokemon here now. Yeehaw. Okay. Hard to ride on a bull sun, but it makes it fun. I bet it does. Okay, so Charlotte took a little bit of a beating there. Everybody's a little bit hurting, and I'm kind of afraid of uh, what these people are going to throw at me. So you know what? Let's go for let's go for a little Hyper Potion on you, Charlotte. You're back to full. I think we're probably good there. I am still at a good, a good enough level. Roger just needs some experience. But Okay, we can go right here, which takes us to another heckin' cowboy, dude. If I win, you will do my work on the field, okay? I did not agree to this. <laughs> the hell? Okay. Jacob here has two Pokemon. He's got a Batwool. 39, so that's fine. Um, let me check out the move powers here again. I always I always manage to use the wrong moves. Incinerate at 60 and Flame Burst at 70, so 70s. Flame Burst going to be our best option here. Yeet. Bandam and Charm. You are pretty charming there, Batwool. You're like a Wooloo, but just just not the same. Not the same, buddy. Although this thing is arguably cooler because it evolves into so many different types. Next is the Cyphlock thingy. Uh, we'll stay in here and just go for a Hex on you. How about that, young Cyphlock? We did catch a Cyphlock last episode as well, so that's fun. Hex is almost going to do the trick. Extra Sensory just throws some purple powder at me. Jesus, that did a lot. Okay. We'll finish you off with a hex. Okay, so yeah, Ranja, you really just need like a couple more levels to be able to be used a little bit more comfortably, but you're fine. Back to work. Yeah, not working on your farm today, buddy. You try that shit to somebody else. Okay, we're gonna hyper potion you. Really should just be using supers, but I don't play by the rules. Also got some uh, some apricorns. We'll take. I really don't need the apricorns to be honest. I have so many of these damn things, and they're like useless. So. We will grab the apples, though, for whatever reason. We found all seven apples. That was a quest, wasn't it? We're supposed to bring that back to somebody. Well, that's fine. Okay, actually, there was an area for us to go this way as well. Got to make sure we have thoroughly explored the area. As this is actually the lake, so I'm glad that we didn't go right. Because that would take us to the city. But here we have Lake Bliss and an empty trash can. Who would have thought? Okay, so Kira is hanging out here. Looked like a pretty small lake you got here. Can't see it all, but it looks like a pond. It's you, Hayden. Come over here. You have to see this beautiful lake. 
Wow, so beautiful. I guess it's pretty lake-like. Do you know about Lake Bliss? It's a man-made lake made over a hundred years ago. It was made by a guy who wanted a safe and peaceful place for people and Pokemon to come to. Very cool. Over time, the lake grew more beautiful. Uh, lots of Pokemon came, and now it's blooming more than ever. Have a look around. I'm sure you'll love it. I think I'm going to do, go to Green Pine City. There's a gym, and I heard that the leader is using Grass-type Pokemon. Green Pine? Where the hell is Green Pine? Hello? Why are you not going to go to just the city that's right there? Oops. Did not mean to hit that. We're going to hit Pokegear. Uh, Green Pine is down that way. So, apparently there's not much to do in Sailport. I think we're supposed to go up before we go to Green Pine. But, what's up, lady? I've been coming here for 50 long years. I've made my many friends over that time. Cool. Well, we can get a new encounter here, and these are flowers. First thing we come across is going to be... A freaking Dartoad. Yes. I love this thing. It's level 35, so... Pretty damn cool. I believe it's a water grass type or poison grass type. Uh, we're going to will o -Wisp it either way. And um, level 35, that actually makes it pretty damn usable. Okay, it's also going to rain dance, but it's already raining, sir. What do you think you're doing, Dartoad? I'm afraid to kill it. I could probably hit it with a fire move, though, and be okay. But let's actually just switch into Dracula here. Uh, we're going to just... We're just going to huck some good old-fashioned balls at this thing. Let's get to try to rain dance again. You really like the rain, huh, buddy? Okay. Well, you still burnt. And it is time to test out... We could try a, We could try some of these random-ass... We could try a netball. Bug tight now. Underwater Pokemon. Let's just... Uh, let's try to catch it in a friend ball. Because Dartoad, you look like my friend. Even though you look a little bit pissed off at me, we're going to still try to get you in a friend ball. Yes, we got it. All right. Young Dartoad. That's pretty cool. Uh, it is a poison grass type. Dartoad make use of their leaf-like tail, both for shielding itself from dry from drying out on a sunny days as a water dish on rainy days. So that's pretty cool. Well, we will give you a nickname. What should I name a Dartoad? We have so many new Pokemon lately. This is ridiculous. Okay, so we are going to name this thing Slippy. Because of Star Fox. A classic choice. Alright. So Slippy, you're pretty damn cool, buddy. Transfer that to the PC. Our box is getting full. What's up, lady? This place is so magical and peaceful. I can see where it gets its name from. It's so blissful. Quite blissful indeed. Um, so we can surf on the old lake here, see what's going on. It's probably there's gotta be something significant in this place, right? Oh, there is a little uh, little heart statue going on in the middle. And also we find ourselves a Merkid. You're weird. I, I don't want you, Merkid. Get out of here. Mermaid child. Okay, so there's a Pokeball here. It's a PP up. What else we got going on in here? Big journeys begin with small steps. Cool. Oh, uh-oh. Something's happening. A wild Pokemon appeared. Okay, so this is a static encounter, and this is legal for us to catch. It's a Parafox. I don't know why the hell... Young Parafox just came out of nowhere. But since it's raining, we could probably go for an incinerate here. We're only a handful of levels higher. Just don't kill it. Okay, we're good. Imprison. Seal the opponent's moves. What the hell does imprison mean? We can't... Okay, well. Leave it with like 1 HP, which is perfect. Unfortunately, it does actually have faint attack, but that's fine. We can take them all day. And uh, let's try to catch this thing. So yeah, we do play by the rules that... Static encounters are legal encounters. This seems like kind of a legendary boy, or at least just like a one-time kind of opportunity, so. We got ourselves a Parafox. And that's actually kind of interesting because we just named a Pokemon after Star Fox, so it's a normal ghost type. Whoa. The presence of Parafox is unusually weak, even for a ghost type. Sometimes it may flicker in and out of reality for a split second. And yo, that is an interesting Pokemon. We're gonna name you Star Fox, though, because, uh, and you fit with, with Slippy. So. Normal ghost type. Very cool. Oh, didn't put my X. I forgot about the X, but a very interesting Pokemon we got there. Never been a normal ghost type Pokemon ever, so. That's a first for me. Alright, and then we do have an item over here as well. More Merkids, probably. Nope, just one of these damn Angelish. Angelish. Get out of my way, buddy. What do we have? Oh, oh my god, we gotta we gotta hop back on the surfboard. We can't slip through that random little crack. So we gotta go like this. 
And we have TM45 for attract, which is heckin' useless. But, you know, we'll take it. We're inside of Ranja right now, which is a little bit weird. He's more inside of us, but that's fine. Okay, so I feel like that's probably all there is for us to do in this lake. Uh, you get that really cool encounter. So, might have to check that thing out. It apparently probably has pretty shitty stats, like they were mentioning, but... I guess we're gonna see. Please, Merkid, spare me. I do not want to battle you. Not the best idea to have my fire type out while it's raining, but that's fine. It's like you're shaped like a heart. That's so cool. Didn't even notice that. But we gotta run through the flowers. And, ooh, it's one of them humzaps. Have not seen the humzaps before. In the wild, at least. I think we've seen humzaps in a... Uh, somebody had one before. Oh, you captured the wild parafox. You must have been looking for a trainer worthy of catching it. Congratulations. I sure did. Just gonna go ahead and steal your parafox and never come back to this lake ever, so... I hope you didn't enjoy having that thing around because it is mine and it is mine forever. All right, so now we can go into the next city, Young Sailport Town, Sailport City or whatever the hell, Sailport Town. Yeah, ooh, ooh, nice and nice and paved, huh? Well, we got some boats, we got a captain hanging out over here. What's up, buddy? Sometimes there are thunderstorms on Route 12, so it's hard to sail to Rassic City. Ooh, we got a sail there. Hello, what's going on here? This is here is the Sailing Museum. It's where you can read about famous ships and the mysteries of the sea. Have a look for yourself. Okay, we'll take a look here. I have to freaking pay, of course. Everybody's got to get their money from me. Bastards. I feel like there's never anything good in these museums either. Isn't this interesting? Oh, you like this place too? Please take this. Oh, we get TM47 for low sweep, so that's kind of cool. Thank you for that. We got $500 was worth it. Gotta be a sailor someday, just like my daddy. So we got some uh, SS title model, a model of the transport ship in the Hoenn region. Very cool. The attention to detail in this game is unmatched by a Pokemon fan game. Old anchor of the well-known luxury cruise liner of the Kanto region, the SS Ann. Nice. Well, is that that's literally it? Hello? That's all there is in here. Submarine Explorer 1 model in Slateport City. Nice. So there's references to all the games. And uh, I don't think that... Wait, wait. Is there anything else for me to do here? Why is there not... Look at the anchors. I, I did look at the anchor, but... There's one more anchor over here. Cactus anchor, old anchor, a half sunken ship in the Hoenn region. Nice. Well, okay, That's. I thought there was stairs in here, but that's literally all there is. I guess that's pretty cool. We are gonna leave. Doesn't seem like that was really too worth it, but you know, that's fine, all right. So I guess some more exploring around the city. There's a lot of houses to go into. And look who it is. I really should have healed up before this because we're probably gonna have a battle. Oh shit. It's you, wimp. Long time no see. So you're heading to Rassic City? I told you that's my hometown. It's no place for a weakling like you. Ha. I'm going there too, and I'm going to battle Rex. He's one of the Elite Four. If I can beat him, I'll be one of the best trainers in Rakodo. But first, how about we battle? I want to test out my new Pokemon. Are you ready, weakling? Damn it, we don't get an option to say no. I meant to heal up. But now we got to battle Rick's dumbass with, uh... Not full health team. That's okay. Alright, so Rick talk. Oh, jeez, he has six Pokemon. He leads off with a Frogu. Have we seen Frogu before? What the f is this thing? We're gonna Will O Wisp you, buddy. Just in case you're a strong physical attacker, no idea what this thing wants to do. Oh, it's a water type. Okay, it does have Bubble Beam, and that hurts. Little Froggy Boy definitely hurts us a little bit. But that's okay. Alright, um. We'll go right into Marvin here. Let's see what this thing wants to do. You better not be part ground type, man. And then a shock fine that's totally fine i was hoping you were a physical attacker but you know sometimes it do be like that probably should have actually just taken advantage of like healing while i'm in here oh my god that didn't even kill it now it's gonna uproar knocks down to about half but the burn is gonna kill you so i guess it was worth getting the burn this is gonna be a scary battle i'm afraid for my safety here jesus okay next is a nataron nataron Na no idea what the hell this thing is but we are gonna go into Dracula because you're full health and pretty high level. So please don't be an electric type. I have no idea what this is. Nadoron. Oh fuck, it's one of these damn things. Okay, um. Things probably got rock moves. And ground moves, so I don't have much for this thing. We're gonna try to crunch it. See how much we can do with that. And it's gonna just take down. Okay, well, that's better than if you had a rock move. So now we can crunch. We will get some health back with Bloodthirst. Uh, I guess that's pretty nice. This thing is an absolute unit. My god. Take down doing its thing. One more crunch. 
He's gonna finish it off. I, should, I knew I should have went into happy there. Bubble, or, uh, bubble being fucking scald would have done the trick, but. Get ourselves some solid experience. Dracula 49. Next is a Terexite. That is. That's the evolved form of that electric pterodactyl, isn't it? We're going into we're going into Marvin here. We are gonna need to heal up, but let's see. Is that what this thing is? Jesus, so many new Pokemon. Nope, it's the fucking Why did I think it was pterodactyl? It's a fucking Oh jeez. Uh so fire type boy. Should probably go into Donna. Yeah, it's level 39. We could try to go into Donna here. You know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna go right into happy. I think we're playing it safe here. Damn it, man. I knew he had the T-Rex thing. Totally forgot about it. Okay, Fire Fang actually misses too, which is nice. This thing looks like a Fire Dark type. We're gonna hit you with a Scald though. See how you like that, buddy. Small arms. And yeah, it's gonna knock it out. Very cool, Kanye. Next is a Dinopian. This guy's got all sorts of dinosaur shit. We're just gonna stay in with Happy. My god. Oh, it's that fighting type thing, dinosaur. Oh shit, y'all. Definitely that fighting type lad. We're gonna go into Dracula here. Probably gonna hit us with a fire move. Please don't kill me. Oh, fucking just Dragon Claw. Okay, that uh, that does hurt quite a bit, so we do need to heal. This thing is level 42. My god, this guy came at us. Okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna hyper potion you, buddy. Get you back to full. So he does still have the same wrapped hands, is the only reason why I remember what this thing's first thing was. First evolution. Now we can go for an acrobatics, and you're probably not going like that. Yeah, that is gonna knock it out. Dinopian. Going down. What is next? Cast Spring. Literally no idea what Cast Spring is. Um, we could try to go into Charlotte. Because Charlotte needs experience. Cast Spring. Sounds like a sounds like a water type or something. Spring. Cast Spring. Oh, it's just it's just this thing. Okay, we're not afraid of this. We've seen these before. It's the Jumple evolution. So let's just go. Oh shit, it has acrobatics though. Fuck, it's flying type. No! My god, yes, we live it with 11 HP. <laughs> Alright, didn't expect this thing to be flying type. It, that was kind of obvious actually, but we're gonna go into happy. And hot damn! Caspering, I underestimated you, and then you just about gave me the work. But luckily we live in. Also, acrobatics is animation. Always has the super effective sound. What is up with that? We're gonna quick attack and kill ya. And what am I even at here? We are gonna grow to level 50 with happy though. Hot damn. And a parabo. That's gotta be. We're going into Marvin here. Is that the fucking pterodactyl thing? Par Wait, no. Par parabo? Hello? Parabo? No, it's just this thing. Okay, that's actually fine. So we bring in our electric boy. I don't know why I'm afraid of him busting out that. I just forget what the name is of that electric pterodactyl. But young Parabo here is also something I don't think we've actually seen before. He's got a cool ass little rainbow tail going though. So we're back at full. We can give you a nice little lightning strike. Everybody got acrobatics. This guy is a damn Nuzlocke killer right here. If you're not ready for this, because you just walk to a random part of the city and he's like, well, we're fucking battling now. Okay, so Marvin. Oh, Ron's just trying to learn uh, ball, shadow ball. Nice. Well, that's pretty great. We can just get rid of Hex. This boy is a nice special sweeper. We love this thing. Alright, level 49. Rick has been defeated. We get $2,500. Drat. I guess these new Pokemon need more training. I reckon I could find stronger Pokemon in the ancient in ancient past to get to Rassic City. I have to get through there. Uh, you shouldn't come to Rassic City. I think you're too weak for this city. What the fuck? I just beat you, boy. You didn't even kill anything. Well. Oh, and then Rodney shows up. Please. Sir, don't battle me. Another battle against the red hair. I hope you won. Professor Pinewood called me and said I should tell you that he's waiting for us in the Pokemon Center here in Slaleport Town. Ooh, the whole gang's gonna be there. The prof professor sounds really anxious. He'll give us new information. Ooh, about Team Solar and Lunar. So, see you soon. Well, cool. We got ourselves some interesting stuff to do. And uh, we are going to continue next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to hit that like button on the video if you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.